Hello guys, uh, I am here today to do a book tag, um, sorry if it looks like I'm like squinting, but the weather in the UK is mental, it's about 24-25 degrees where I am now, um, and I know to some people that doesn't sound like a lot, but to us in the United Kingdom, we never get this kind of weather, so whatever we do, we relish it, and we kind of like compare it to the next best thing to go into Spain or something like that, which is not, obviously, but, you know, so, yes, I'm enjoying the heat, but it is very hot, um, so, yeah, sorry if I look like I'm sweating or whatever, but that is why. Uh, okay, so I'm here to do a tag today. Sorry, I have my notes. This is the TV, so if I'm looking down here for some of it, it's because I'm reading my notes. This is the TV books tag. I've forgotten who it was created by, uh, but I was tagged by Leah Holsclaw. Um, and she does a lot of my book tags, in fact all of them, so I thought I'd do uh, book tags that she's tagged me in, which I do most of them anyway, but yeah, and this seems like a really fun tag, um, so I'm going to start, um, some of these shows are American shows, and obviously I live in England, so I don't know some of them, uh, I know most of them, but I don't know some of them, so, but it doesn't really matter, you don't, you don't have to know what the shows are. So, uh, number one is Doctor Who, a book with big sci-fi elements or time travel. And for this, I chose Meta Wars, Fight for the Future by Jeff Norton. Um, I've, harped, I've harped on about this book and this sci-fi series many times on my channel. I mean, I have, all, I have three books and there's four in the series, but I've only read this one. But even so, like... After this one, I still need to get to the other two, and I need to get the fourth and read it because I love this series, and it's all about um, it's all about sci-fi, and there's a side called the Millennials and a side called the Guardians, and they're locked in a brutal battle over control of an online virtual world called the Metasphere. Uh, Jonah Delacra has always known which side he's on, the same side as his dead father, but when he assumes his father's avatar, he learns that things aren't as black and white as he once believed. He's catapulted into a full throttle race both through both worlds, but can he find the truth? And trust me, it's amazing, and you need to pick it up, and I need to pick up and read the other three. I've got two, the next two, but I need to read the other three. Anyway, yeah, so that's the one I chose. You seriously need to check this out if you haven't any like sci-fi. Check it out. And check this author out, actually, Jeff Norton, because he writes a lot of sci-fi. Okay, number two, 24, which I'm not familiar with. But it says, a book full of action. So, for this, I went with my slightly beaten up copy of Half Bad by Sally Green. Um, I thought this book was absolutely fantastic. Um, I flew through it. I mean, it's like it's like 400 pages, but I flew through it and I loved it. <coughs> um, it's about a boy who's half black witch, half white witch. Um, and he has to find his father before his 17th birthday to receive a, three gifts from him um, and find out whether he is a is going to stay as a black witch or a white witch um, and if he doesn't uh, see his father and get those gifts before his 17th birthday he'll die um, and it is fantastic and I love it and it's full of action um, and if you haven't read it read it uh, three Roswell which I'm also not uh, familiar with but it says a book with aliens in it and for this, I had to go with the obvious choice of The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Um, unfortunately, I still haven't finished this book. I keep meaning... Sorry, there's some weird woman looking at me from over the street. Yeah, I keep walking. Um, I'm still on chapter 53, page 267. I really do need to finish this, but this is about aliens. Um, and i read you the back. Um, just this bit here, because it explains most of the story. Since the first wave took out half a million people, the second wave put that number to shame. The third wave lasted a little longer, 12 weeks, 4 billion dead. In the fourth wave, you can't trust that people are still people. And the fifth wave, no one knows, but it's coming. Um, it's brilliant, it's about aliens. Um, and I just haven't finished it because it's a beast, it's almost 500 pages. But I know the sequel, The Infinite Sea, comes out soon. And that has a blooming amazing cover as well, so I really need to get on and finish this. Number four, The Walking Dead, a book with zombies in it. Um, I haven't actually read a book with zombies in it. Um, I think I have one, but I can't remember. Um, 
So I've gone for Zombie Apocalypse by Stephen Jones. Well, created by Stephen Jones. I haven't actually read this. Um, but it's told in different formats, like there's emails, letters, songs, news clips, um, all that stuff. I don't know if you can see those. But yeah, it's written in different formats. And it tells the story of a zombie apocalypse. I'll read the end. In the near... F uh, read the back, sorry. In the near future, a desperate and ever more controlling UK government attempts to restore a sense of national pride with a new festival of Britain. The construction work on the site of an old church in South London releases a centuries-old plague that turns its victims into flesh-hungry ghouls whose bite or scratch passes the contagion, a supernatural virus which has the power to re revive the dead, onto others. The death soon sweeps across London and the whole country descends into chaos. When a drastic attempt to eradicate the outbreak at source fails, the plague quickly spreads quickly to mainland Europe and then across the rest of the world. Told through a series of interconnected eyewitness narratives, text messages, emails, blogs, letters, diaries and transcripts, this is an epic story of a world plunged into chaos as the dead battle the living for total domination. Will humanity triumph over the worldwide zombie plague or will the walking dead inherit the earth? <clears throat> I've heard this is excellent. Um, it's got extremely good ratings on Goodreads if you want to check them out. Um, yeah, and I'm actually really looking forward to reading this. This is also a beast. This is almost 500 pages as well. But there are no page numbers. It's strange. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading that one. Uh, number five, Supernatural. A book with many supernatural slash paranormal creatures in it. Um, and I ummed and ahed over this one for quite a while. But I ended up going for... Uh, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. This is just the first book, um, this whole series in general I'm going for. Um, I mean, there's not really supernatural slash paranormal creatures in it, but there's like um, half gods and stuff like that. Um, and there's like, you know, it, it includes things like Zeus and <coughs> uh, things like that. And there's the Minotaur. Um, and yes, and Medusa is in this book. And it's got a lot of... Uh, Greek mythology and stuff like that in it. So I went with that one. I hope it's not cheating. Uh, number six, Once Upon a Time, a book that is based on a fairy tale. Uh, I haven't read this, but I've gone with Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This is based on Cinderella, um, but Cinderella is a... She's a cyborg, and I think she's an assassin as well. Uh, yeah, and there's three books out in this series. Um, I have two of them. Um, yeah, but I haven't read this yet. But that's the one I went for, and I love the cover. Of all of the books, actually, but this one in particular. Seven, Ghost Whisperer, a book with ghosts in it. I've talked about this book on my channel a lot as well, but it deserves all the hype. Um, it's The Hunting Ground by Cliff McNish. Um, brilliant. Like, one of the first ghost stories I read, and now I love ghost stories. I can't... If I see a, if I see a book that's a ghost story in a charity shop, I cannot leave it there. If I have money, I'll have to buy it. Because I just love ghost stories after reading this. Uh, it's brilliant. It's about these two boys, Elliot and Ben, who move into a Glebe house. Um, <clears throat> and they find out they're sharing it with a ghost. And I've forgotten the ghost's name. But there's a mysterious woman who talks to the dead. And there's an east wing of the house where a hideous labyrinth of passageways, devised by a truly twisted mind... Um, contains ghosts and stuff like that and it's just amazing if you like ghost stories or you want to try a really really good ghost story read the hunting ground i highly recommend it eight glee a book with a high school setting um i don't really have many of these but part of this book is set in high school so i went for the unbecoming of mara dyer by michelle hodkin this is an amazing book it's like contemporary ish slash thriller slash mystery with like paranormal elements and it's amazing and I loved it and I still need to get the sequel because the third and final book comes out soon so what am I doing with my life but yeah it's a brilliant book and a lot of it is set in high school which is also where she meets her a boy well boyfriend Noah Shaw um and they go back to high school after she has an accident and all this stuff and it's just her trying to figure out who she is after she has an accident a really bad accident and she should be dead, but she wakes up alive in hospital, and she has no memory. Um, and it's just about her finding herself. Um, but it's amazing, and you should read it. And it does have... She goes to high school, and there's high school bits in it. And the last one is AFV, which I'm not sure about. I think it's a comedy channel. 
because it says a funny book slash a book that made you laugh. So I've gone for Nick and Tesla's A Robot Army Rampage by Science Bob Flugfelder and Steve Hawkins Smith. This is brilliant. Uh, it's middle grade, second book in the Nick and Tesla series. It's just oh crumbs. It's just really funny and like some of the characters are blooming hilarious. Um, yeah, and I can't recommend it enough really. I know it's middle grade, I don't really mean read middle grade, but I read this and I loved it and it was funny and it was interesting um, and it was actually full of action and some bits were actually quite dark. But yeah, it's really good, so you should pick it up. Okay, so that's it. That's my TV books tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the only person I'm going to tag is Wrath's Queen because I know other people I've tagged before still are still wanting to catch up on my tags they're still like getting into recording them and stuff so i mean i don't want to tag them um because i don't want to give them too much work if you know what i mean like you don't want to weigh people down so yeah i'm only tagging wrath queen but everyone could do this tag i loved it um and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you again soon goodbye and thank you to leah for tagging me